Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I think this is a, a good time to go ahead and get started. Again, I'd like to welcome you all for attending the webinar on how to uh, secure and back up your home office while you are working remote. Go ahead and go to the next slide, Gary. Uh, in attendance uh, on our side here for the webinar, we've got myself, Mark, uh, Gary from Buffalo, and then also Nate from Novastore. I'm going to go ahead and a little bit about uh, Buffalo. For those of you that don't know, uh, 40 plus years uh, in business based out of Japan, uh, publicly traded in the stock exchange. Uh, we're based out of Austin, Texas. Um, and uh, we are a company that has uh, committed ourselves to products for the uh, SMB uh, market. Um, Network storage is a, our uh, kind of our our tailor-made uh, spot for us. So, next slide, Gary. And right. just want to let Gary take over. Go ahead, Gary. Good afternoon, everyone. So, I want to talk a little bit about the importance of uh, of backup and security in general. Um, you know, this has been a uh, uh, a jolt for a lot of uh, companies. I know it was uh, it was an unexpected thing for us to suddenly have to uh, organize and get everybody hooked up and working from home and 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 get all that working. Uh, and it's been a it was like for us just as for many companies it was very short notice. So a lot of people may not have a. Uh, uh, a system in place, some way to make sure that they're, they're all the data that's sitting on uh, all of their users' computers that are you know now at their houses, to make sure all that's backed up and, and kept track of uh, and and protected uh, in the event of a hardware failure or uh, some sort of phishing attack or, or something like that. So we want to talk a little bit about how to make sure that you've you've got your backups going on and and uh, and you know. Make sure that uh, your data is protected. All right. So, typically, when you're in the office, you know everybody's sharing files, usually on a local file server, and that file server is is going to be backed up uh, on a regular basis so that uh, everything's protected. Um, you're also sitting behind a, a, a probably a corporate firewall of some kind. Uh, so, with with everybody suddenly working from home, they may or may not have uh, be able to access those file servers. They may be keeping a lot more files, a lot more data uh, on their local system. We want to make sure that, uh, you know, it's all backed up and that's all protected so that, you know, in the event of a problem that you can get, get that data back and, and make sure that it's recovered and make sure you still have access to it. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. All right. The other thing we want to talk a little bit about is uh, uh, is security. Uh, so obviously we recommend that uh, you know you encrypt as much of your communication as possible. Uh, most uh, you know a, a lot of data is handled over websites, and most of those these days are encrypted by default. Uh, but we want to make sure that the communication between your your remote sites, your your employees' houses, users' houses. Uh, and the office is also encrypted. So uh, what we would recommend, and this is not something we provide, but uh, something that uh, certainly uh, we would recommend is to have some sort of VPN set up where you know, anytime uh, one of your users has to uh, communicate with the, uh, uh, with the server that's in the office, to have that communication encrypted. Also, if you're using a terror stations to, uh, to move data back and forth, uh, you can turn on the encryption by default, so will all that uh, all that communication will automatically be encrypted, uh, even if you don't have a VPN. All right. So, the first thing, biggest thing we want to talk about today is backup. So, there's a, a number of ways you can do that. Uh, you want to make sure that you're, uh, you're you're having all of your 
data protected. And here at Buffalo, we provide uh, several different devices that can be used as, uh, uh, as backups uh, for a, a local system and, and some ways to, to uh, coordinate those and, and consolidate those as well. Uh, it can be, you know, from the very, very simple to the very, very complex, we can help you out with that, and whatever your needs are. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about is uh, your basic option. Um, it's just an external USB drive. Uh, we have several different models ranging from a, a simple one terabyte portable USB drive. Uh, I think we're, uh, we're going to be actually giving one of those away today uh, at the end of this webinar. Uh, uh, right up to a, a four drive unit uh, that's, you know, a desktop drive that has RAID 5 on it. Uh, it could, with up to 18 terabytes of usable space on there so that you can, you know, even if you have a lot of data at your house that you need to back up, I, that should be able to handle it there. So, and that's uh, what we think we're, we're talking about is our good option. Everybody should have at least something, some sort of backup uh, in order to make, make sure that your data is protected in the event of a problem. All right, so, uh, Moving on, um, kind of our intermediate option would be one of our link station devices. Uh, the link station Soho, uh, that comes with five uh, licenses for Nova Store's Nova Backup. With the USB drive, you'd need to use whatever uh, built-in backup software that your, uh, your system has. If it's, uh, most people are probably running uh, Windows systems or Macs, and both of those have good backup options built in uh, that can do a, a you know, basic system backup to a USB drive. Uh, with the LinkStation Soho, you'll get some licenses for Nova Store's Nova Backup. And that's available in either two or four terabytes of usable space. And for most people, that's probably plenty because it's a network attached device. Uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, do, I have to, do I have the USB drive plugged in to do my backup? Do I have to, you know, what do I have to do? It's attached to the network. So you just install the software, tell the software, I want to back this up, you know, on a daily basis. Give it the target and you don't have to worry about it if you're carrying your portable around the house you're still backing up because you know you're still attached to your home network uh, these also have a, a three-year warranty so if you have any problems with them you let them let us know uh, the warranty obviously all of our nas devices have the dry, hard drives included so that warranty covers those drives as well so any problem you have you just get in touch with us we'll be able to help you out with it and all of our storage devices uh, qualify for our data recovery service. So if you have, do have a problem with the device itself, uh, you need to get the data back off of it. If it's a simple logical recovery, uh, we will cover that for free. Uh, if it's more complicated, we'll get you a quote uh, on what that recovery will cost. And in all cases, uh, when you send us a device, we'll pay for the shipping uh, for you to ship us the device. Uh, our data recovery experts will take a look at it, uh, get a quote back to you, and whether you decide to do it or not, we'll return it back to you free of charge. The quote costs nothing. <clears throat> All right, now, uh, stepping up to our, 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 what we consider our best option uh, would be one of our Buffalo Terra stations. Now, uh, we have these available as both desktop and, and rack mount machines, but most people probably don't have uh, a server rack at their house to put a rack mount in. So we'll talk a little bit about the desktops. Uh, the desktop devices we have are available with up to 48 terabytes of usable space. So regardless of what you're backing up at your house, uh, this will cover it. Um, they include 10 licenses of Nova Stores Nova Backup. Uh, and as we mentioned, we'll have uh, Nate with Nova Stores with us. He'll be uh, speaking to that, uh, give us some more information on that here in shortly. Uh, the Terra Station also includes a license for Nova Backup for servers. So if you wanted to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if you wanted to uh, get one of these and set up at the office uh, to back up your servers, if you don't already have a system, something in place to do that, it's great for that too. All of our terror stations, all of our desktop terror stations uh, include high quality NAS drives. Uh, so those are uh, a little bit faster, a little bit more robust uh, than what's available in the link station Soho. Uh, they all have uh, 
256 bit AES encryption, so you can encrypt that data at rest. And they can also be remotely managed using our Buffalo Remote Management Service. So that uh, if you deploy uh, one of the smaller, less expensive devices at multiple users' homes, you can still monitor all of those centrally uh, from one location uh, and, having a, and know if there's a problem with any of those devices. So what you can do, is, especially if you're using a terror station, you can have uh, you know, users backing up their, uh, their remote systems to the terror station. And that terror station can move those backups either to another terror station, maybe that's a, it's in your data center um, using encrypted communication, uh, or if you have an existing cloud service, uh, you can move those, uh, store those backups to that cloud service as well. Uh, you see the cloud services listed there that, uh, that we support. Uh, so you can have those, all of those backups sitting in a central location so that you, you, you know, have a good secure uh, spot for all your backups and make sure that all your backups are running well. All right, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to, uh, to Nate uh, from Nova Store and let him talk a little bit about uh, the Nova backup uh, software. Hey, thanks a lot, Gary. Yeah, no problem. Just go back one slide there. Yeah, so this whole thing, this whole COVID uh, virus thing has been uh, interesting from a uh, backup software uh, perspective uh, as to um, we've had a lot of uh, people come and, and ask, you know, what do we recommend? You know, a lot of them have been taken, uh, 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 not not quite prepared for all this work from home stuff and having to deal with uh, endpoints all of a sudden instead of everyone uh, in their protected network, especially, you know, you know, small businesses. You know, uh, small businesses have been um, especially targeted with some of the things that we've seen with uh, the COVID-19 phishing emails. Uh, some of them have been getting uh, pretty sophisticated, like, oh, hey, you know, click here to uh, uh, sign in and, and uh, we'll, we'll help you with your small business uh, uh, paycheck loans uh, information and all this other stuff. Um, and then tailing right on top of that is some of the interesting new ransomware that we've been seeing that have been coming in through uh, home networks. So one of the things that a lot of people haven't been prepared for is with everyone going home, you know, whether it's laptops or, or home PCs or something like that, all of a sudden, if they don't have their VPNs configured correctly, that home network that your employees at is all of a sudden the extension of your corporate ne network or your small business network. And uh, that <clears throat> introduces a lot more uh, inflection points for any of these security issues that we've been seeing. So you basically have to assume that you have little or no security on home networks. So you need to be protecting both the data that's being cre created and consumed on those endpoints. You know, whether or not you're sending stuff to OneDrive or or having it locally, or sending it to a, um, a server at your uh, your your small business, you know, network, what have you. you. You really need to make sure that all of that stuff is taken care of and protected. Uh, and with that, uh, Gary, if you want to go to the next slide. Yeah. So a um, couple of things that we've been recommending is. Uh, um, you know, basically using the, the, the free Nova backup software that's come, coming with your Buffalo devices to obviously back up locally and uh, to NAS or, or what have you. But also we had a, I'll call it a slow or silent launch of our Nova backup cloud. So it's a, a Nova store hosted cloud that um, connects directly in with the Nova backup product that you can add to your, your licenses that you already have from your Nova, from your Buffalo devices, so you can back up both locally and cloud seamlessly through one piece of product, you know, one product. So this can be a, a, a very easy way to protect that data that might be on those endpoints uh, to a secure cloud cloud location. And then with our mo central monitoring con console, you can actually monitor all the, the backups are happening and that type of thing. And this is all stuff that we can actually help you with as a partner uh, to get set up if you want to. Something that we always, you know, 
tend to uh, preach is the three, two, one backup rule. But almost, you know, with with all this endpoint stuff that's happening now, uh, it's almost like a four, two, four, three, two uh, rule. You know, you need four copies with two of them being offsite. You know, two of them being local to that that endpoint. You really need to make sure that all of that data is protected because you can't assume that anything at those endpoint locations is being secured at all. Uh, Gary, if you want to go one more slide. Something that, uh, you know, because of all this stuff that we're offering as an exclusive offer to Buffalo Partners is basically three different options here. Uh, you can uh, currently today, you know, if you go into the no backup software that comes with the Buffalo uh, uh, Terra stations and, and link stations uh, that you get for free, you can add cloud storage to your current no backup license. So that is something that's live as of this morning, that you can actually do that today. Uh, also, uh, with, uh, with this, we have a couple different options for signing up directly with uh, Nova Backup for being an MSP. Now, there's a couple things that becoming an MSP actually helps you with. So one of the things is, um, uh, one of the options is we, we actually can, you know, um, basically consume all of those those uh, customers that you might have and have them all under one central monitoring console for you so you can see how the backups are happening and uh, all of the licensing for those is actually free because it's coming with the, the Buffalo devices. And the only thing that we'd be charging you for um, as a partner would be just the cloud storage that, are, that you're using. So there's no licensing cost, but it's just a cloud storage cost. And then you can charge your customers whatever whatever you would need to. You, know, you mark that up, whatever you want. <clears throat> so that would be, be with Nova Backup hosting it. And we offer the same type of thing with uh, you as a partner hosting the cloud portion for yourself. So you can set up your own storage location, own CMON um, for central monitoring, and basically that's completely free until the start of Q3, and then we're only charging you for the cloud storage after uh, Q3 only in the cloud storage that you're hosting. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, Adam uh, Stufflick, the contact information here, is going to be the guy that's heading that up. So if you want to contact him, he can uh, get you set up and talk to you about uh, what options we have for that. And with that, Gary, I think I'm done on my side. All right, and we'll hand All it back right. over to Mark. Thanks, thanks, Gary. Thanks, Nate. Uh, so first off, I, I do want to mention, uh, you know, as we're getting near the end here, if you guys do have any questions uh, from anything that we've covered so far, there is a question section here on the GoToMeeting. If you uh, type it in there, uh, we will answer all the questions um, as we finish things up here. So um, just want to make sure and mention that. So uh, just a little bit uh, on our tech support. Um, just to kind of pat ourselves on the back, we we have a fantastic tech support team. Um, as you see, uh, Channel Company, we've won the last three years in a row. Um, the annual report card and a big part of that uh, is our, our support folks, which are based here in the US. Um, you have 24 seven access to them, uh, whether you're a, uh, MSP, uh, whether you're a, a reseller, whether you're an end user, you've got the ability to get in touch with our uh, support team um, anytime. And there's also uh, email support. There's also chat support on our website that, that can be very helpful. Um, on our website, we also have a uh, very good uh, knowledge base that has uh, not only a lot of articles, but uh, most of them are accompanied with uh, videos that can take you through the steps of setting up a terror station or setting up a backup um, um, and help you out with that as well. Hey, Gary, you can go ahead and go to the next one. All right, Mark. I just wanted to add real quick. We will be adding uh, sure. some, some new uh, knowledge base articles this week uh, that cover, uh, you know, the, basic setup and just getting the backup started, getting uh, 
uh, no store installed and, uh, and, and you know, just getting your backup started for a lot of home users, maybe who, who don't have a lot of experience doing that. So we'll have those out, uh, we're, we should be having uh, most of those up this week. So hopefully that will help some folks out too. Oh, great, okay. And again, just kind of going over a little bit more about our terror station, NAS, which is our premier product. Again, it's, you know, built for the SMB storage. And I think right now, uh, you know, all of us, uh, myself included, who are now working remotely uh, while we're going through this uh, this uh, COVID situation, we're, we're the ultimate small businesses now. We're all working independently from home and, and we've got to be responsible for uh, keeping our data safe and, and secure. Uh, so uh, again, you know, our, our products are very easy to use. Uh, take them out of the box, plug them in and, and start going. Um, we, we do have our, our team that is uh, available to help you out, whether it be our sales folks to answer pre-sales questions, our support people, for the post sales, or if you've got a situation where you're not even sure what the fit is, uh, we've got Gary who can help you uh, discuss the situation and identify what would be the right product and the right fit for your needs. Um, and then of course, price-wise, yeah, price points always important, and we've always got the price points in mind to make us affordable for uh, Everyone, uh, you know, from home users on up to to uh, businesses. You can go ahead, Gary. Again, uh, any questions after this webinar? Um, and there will be a, a recorded version of the webinar available. I know that is something that uh, is often quite asked on these uh, the questions afterwards. Um, you've got our contact information right here. That's myself. And Adam, as uh, Nate had mentioned, for the uh, Nova Store side of things. Um, so at this point, I guess we will go ahead and let's move on over to uh, the questions that have come in. Um, let's see. Uh, the first one, uh, yeah, already answered. Yes, we will get a copy of the presentation. Um, let's see. One of the questions we have here is, is a small business an easy target for ransomware? I will let our experts answer that one. Well, um, uh, I'll chime in here and, and Nate may have uh, something to say as well. Uh, so small businesses maybe not be specifically targeted a lot, uh, it really depends on the business, uh, you know, what the um, what their perceived value is. But a lot of times, it's uh, ransomware can also be untargeted. So you know, somebody just you know sends out a bunch of uh, phishing emails, and whoever clicks on it is the is whoever got hit, right? Um, so while smaller businesses may not necessarily be specifically targeted as much. Um, they're still vulnerable. Uh, Nate, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, so I get a uh, an interesting interesting perspective because I, I manage all the uh, as one of my jobs. I manage all the uh, tech support here at Nova Store too, and we over the last year or so have seen some interesting things specifically around ransomware. Um, for about six months, six to nine months uh, out of last year, we were seeing some very targeted ransomware attacks specifically at, I call it small businesses, but at uh, dentists in, in particular, because of uh, how they, you know, most dentists aren't, most dentist offices don't have the most sophisticated uh, network that's going in it, but they have a lot of data that is uh, uh, very uh, critical, you know, it's critical data and it is also HIPAA protected data. So it, it, it's a, really good target for that for those ransomware attackers especially if uh, they get their mitts into like an MSP or partner that is managing the networks for multiple dentists all of a sudden um, we had a case uh, last year where 
it, well, they weren't using our software, but I, I heard about this particular case and was talking with some of the, the people that had to do the cleanup. Um, a ransomware attacker hit a MSP in the Midwest and it infected over 500 dentist offices. And uh, yeah, so, and that was a real big mess to clean up. Uh, so even though, you know, small businesses, you know, aren't directly attacked, but some vertical markets I've seen some specific attacks on in the, in the last you know, year or so. All right. Okay. Uh, I got a, a question that I'll let both of you answer uh, since I've got two questions regarding each uh, of sides of the products here. Um, question was on network storage devices, are they capable of encrypting their data when you're backing up on a home network? And also in the further on this, Nate, you can answer after Gary, uh, they wanted to know if the Nova backup cloud backup is encrypted. All right. So as far as uh, local uh, encryption, we have uh, uh, we have one uh, USB hard drive that uh, that has built-in encryption, um, so you can use that. And all of our terror stations have uh, built-in encryption as well, so you can turn on encryption on those, so that uh, all the data at rest is going to be encrypted. Yes, Nate. Yeah, to, to add on that even a little bit more is uh, uh, even when you're backing up locally with uh, Nova Backup, you actually have the option to encrypt the data before it's even being sent over the wire to either USB or, or NAS. Uh, but to specifically answer on the Nova Backup Cloud Backup, um, that is always encrypted. So it's encrypted before it leaves the machine and it is stored encrypted in the, uh, the cloud cloud location that's uh, that we uh, manage. Uh, and, and just to answer another question that I, I've had a couple times is uh, the cloud servers that we use and all the storage that we use for the Nova Backup Cloud are, is all U.S. based. So uh, it is here in the U.S. So no issues dealing with any government issues or anything like that. Okay, great. Uh, let's see. Next question. Oh, I can answer this one. Um, is there a deal reg program? Uh, yes, there is. You can uh, contact us here at Buffalo. Um, uh, if you don't already have a, a rep with us that you're talking about, go ahead and get in, in touch with me and I can get you over to the right person and we can discuss that with you. Um, let's see. The next question is... Um, What is the best document to show us step by step for an uninitiated? The best way to set up our daily backups uh, for a user to a terror station. So I'll take that from the Nova backup side. Um, I don't know if we've we've related to your your knowledge base yet or not but we have a couple knowledge base articles that basically goes step by step with with uh, uh, screenshots and everything on how to set up everything that you would need for a, daily, a normal daily backup um, to a terror station uh, on the, the Nova backup uh, knowledge base. Um, it goes step by step on like a normal home user along with uh, uh, some typical scenarios that we see with uh, uh, business users also. And uh, just to follow up on that, we've uh, got those articles in our knowledge base uh, as far as how to the initial setup of a terror station, how to get that set up. Uh, we're adding some more this week, and uh, we uh, will probably be sending out a follow up email to all attendees, uh, and we'll try to get those uh, those links in there as well as have uh, once this webinar is completed, we'll get it uploaded to our YouTube page, and we'll have some of those links. Uh, there on the YouTube page as well uh, to, to cover, to, to get all of those. Okay. Um, another question on the Nova Store software, Nate. Uh, they wanted to know if the if it is a subscription-based software. So um, the cloud storage is going to be subscription-based. 
but um, the software that you get free with like the link station or the Terra station is um, it, it's a perpetual license. There, there's nothing that you have to pay on that. Now, if you do want to get upgrades or um, uh, live, like, live tele telephone support from Nova Store, uh, then there is a, uh, a maintenance uh, subscription that you can add on to it. Okay. Uh, and then the last question I see here, let's see, um, and I guess this could be a uh, estimated answer for you, Gary. What is the average time required to back up a four terabyte laptop? Well, it uh, yeah, it's uh, that that may be a, a question for either Nate or myself, but uh, there's no easy answer to that because it's uh, it, it, it's, a lot of it is dependent on four terabytes of what, right? So if it's if it's four terabytes of uh, uh, Word documents and things like that, it may not it, it may not take as long uh, because it's a more compressible. Um, depends on the speed of the laptop, uh, the speed of the target. But to back up four terabytes, um, uh, I'm going to go with let me think probably a couple of hours there uh, to do a full to do a full backup. And then once you have a full backup done, uh, the time that at an incremental after that might take will just vary depending on um, on how much data has changed, so how much, uh, uh, you know, what, what needs to be backed up that uh, on, a, on an incremental basis. Yeah, um, so it, it's an interesting question. It's a question that we get asked all the time, you know, and, and it really does depend on the device you're backing up to and your connection speed and that type of thing. Uh, we got it, we, we have it, asked so often that we actually created a website called backupcalculator.com. Um, so if you go out there uh, to backupcalculator.com, it'll ask you like, oh, how much you want to uh, back up and, and you know, uh, how many machines that you want to back up and some other things if you want to go really advanced. But it'll actually give you a, a rough estimate of if you're backing up, uh, you know, a 100 meg network or a gig network or something like that, it'll take you about this long. And here's about how much storage space you want to make sure that you have. And, and it'll kind of give you rough estimates on what your you know, full backup will look like and your subsequent like differential and or incremental backups. OK. Uh, let's see. Uh, got a couple more questions I think that we can answer here for the uh, uh, webinar and uh, let's see, can Nova Star back can Nova Store back up to a tape drive? Uh, great question. So uh, the free back the free Nova backup software that comes with the Terra Station and Link Stations can actually back up to a tape drive also a single tape drive. Um, so not a tape library or, or a media changer or anything like that. Um, if you're backing up to a media changer or tape library, we do have other software that can deal with that, but the free software that comes with the Buffalo uh, units does not back up to tape libraries, but it will back up to a single tape drive. Okay. And also on that, Nate, can you, I guess, answer the question here that saying they have five workers, uh, five employees working from home, um, Terra Station is in the office. How do I set up my Nova Store software so they can back up to the Terra Station? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so the best way to do it, assuming you have um, a VPN between those five five individuals that are working from home, uh, if you have a, a VPN connected between the machines and uh, your uh, network at the office, then as long as they're connected to the VPN, you can set up the Nova Backup software to uh, contact the Terra Station on, over the VPN network to actually do a, a backup over that. So it, one of the things that you'll probably run into with you know, home-based um, networks, especially but you know, say they're using like a cable modem or something like that, um, that upload speed from um, that that home office to the business uh, location isn't going to be great, so that that backup can be very very slow depending on what 
what it is. So you'll want to make sure that whatever you select for backup there is, is um, just the important data that, that they want to be backing up. Don't try to do an image over, <laughs> over a VPN or anything like that. You're probably not going to have a real good time. Okay, great. And it uh, looks like one last question here before we uh, go on to the drawing and pick the winner of the mini station. Um, and there are some other questions in here I know that we have not addressed, and I just want to let you know we're going to touch base with you individually on those. Um, they're a little bit more involved than we can go into here during the, uh, the webinar. Uh, but the last question here is, what is the storage? Is it object uh, versus block versus file? All right, so all of our storage is uh, uh, uses uh, SMB file share protocol, so it's all to be file-based storage. Okay. Right, and one more thing, Mark, I wanted to touch on uh, while you're uh, – making a draw from the hat. This yes, is sir. one of our newer documents here um, in, uh, in our knowledge base. Uh, this is a, a jumping off point and it has links to uh, a, all of our other documents uh, as far as how to get things set up, how to install an open store, um, how to use Windows backup uh, if you're using a USB drive, uh, and even how to backup from one terror station to another. So uh, we have uh, several articles there on how, how to back up from home, and we're going to be adding some more um, uh, over the next week or so uh, as well. And we'll get a, uh, uh, like I said, uh, the link for this will be, um, we'll get that out to everyone, uh, and it'll also be uh, on our YouTube page. All right, Mark. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Well, again, uh, thank you everybody for attending. And uh, I did draw from the hat while Gary was going over that. And our, our winner of the mini station is Mike Donovan. So congratulations, Mike. Uh, we will be in touch and uh, we've got your contact information to get that to you. Uh, again, uh, this will be available um, for everybody, uh, once we get this uh, set up and everything, you will find out, and then we will um, uh, be in touch. And I guess uh, if you have any questions, you can get a hold of myself um, or Adam on that, and then we can answer uh, anything else. So again, thank you very much. All right, uh, and I think that's uh, pretty much going to conclude um, webinar. If you have uh, any other questions, um, like I said, uh, feel free to contact, uh, get a hold of Mark. Uh, if you have questions about uh, uh, Nova Store, you can get a hold of Nate uh, or uh, and we'll be able to get you taken care of. All right, thanks everyone for attending and uh, you all have a good day.